Seasonal events are an important factor to Tower Defense Simulator. They attract tens of thousands of players to try out the game, but the events can heavily vary in quality, some being extremely good, others being infamous. So today, I will be ranking all the seasonal events ever hosted in Tower Defense Simulator. So starting off the list as the worst event in TDS history is the Area 51 event. Area 51 is the second oldest event ever, and it hasn't aged well. The event was extremely easy to the point of being boring. The event itself was also quite forgettable. The only memorable thing about the event was how overpowered the Commando Tower was. So overall, I would rank the Area 51 event a 5 out of 10 just because it isn't bad but just mediocre. So the next event on the list is the Sword Fight on the Heights event. The Gladiator event, unlike the Area 51 event, was pretty fun, as you actually had to strategize and micro the Freezer ability to kill the Swordmaster. But the reward for beating the event was extremely underwhelming, which was the Gladiator Tower, which was considered the worst tower in the entire game. Overall, I think the event deserves a 6 out of 10. The event was fun, but it was very unoriginal, and the reward sucked. After the Sword Fight event, we got the Violent Knight event, this event was extremely unfun. It was basically duck hunt, but extremely slow paced because of how expensive buying plots was and how little money you got from them. The only thing that makes this event above Area 51 and the sword fight event was how unique the event tower was and the skins being pretty good. So overall, I would rank the Violent Knight event a 6.01 out of 10, just because it's marginally better than the sword fight event. Right after the Christmas event is the duck hunt event. This event was extremely unique in that it introduced Defend the Center game modes. Although I didn't really like the rewards for beating the event, the ducky skins are mostly lame recolors besides the farm. This event also suffered from being way too easy, so overall I would rank it a 7 out of 10. Continuing with duck theming, we have the Spring 2020 event next. I personally enjoyed the event and the rewards for beating it aren't too bad. Too bad I only played this event for the egg hat. So overall, I would rank it a 7.5 out of 10. Now we move on to the Frost Invasion event, the event that lasted for over 200 days. Despite having 1 million hit points, the event was actually very easy because of how slow the Frost Spirit moved. Especially if you used Toxic Gunner, Bro moved as slow as a snail, and the designs of all the enemies were top-notch. I really liked the Frost Spirit's design, and the rewards were amazing such as the Sledger Tower and the Frost Skins. Unfortunately, they'll never allow us to open those two final Frost Crates. And for Frost Invasion, I would rank it a 8 out of 10. Now it's time for the most infamous Tower Defense Simulator event, Halloween 2020. I personally feel like this event was overhated. People's main problem with the event was the grinding, which is fair enough. But the event lasted for like half a year, so there was a lot of time to collect all the candies. This event had the best skins by far, like the Ghost DJ, Graveyard Farm, Pumpkin Gladiator, and many more skins. This event was also a really big step up for the disappointment that was the overhaul update. So I would rank it a 8.2 out of 10. This event is mostly carried by how amazing the rewards are. Now we've reached the top three best events in Tower Defense Simulator. So coming in third place is the Xmas 2019 event, this event introduced the ticket system and was the first event to have two event towers as in the Frost Blaster and Archer. The event itself was challenging which made it pretty fun. I would rank it 8.4 out of 10. Now it's down to the two best events, Solar Eclipse and Halloween 2019. This might be a controversial opinion, but Halloween 2019 is personally my favorite event. While Solar Eclipse had multiple nights, they weren't really anything special besides Night 4 and the Eclipse skin series is just kind of mid. I still really like the Solar Eclipse event, but Halloween 2019 is my favorite. Halloween 2019 skins were absolute heat. In addition, Halloween 2019 was the most difficult event which made it fun. And Shredder is my favorite tower defense simulator troop. It's so sad Shredder got turned into piles of shit. Overall, I would rank Solar Eclipse a 9.9 .9 out of 10 and Halloween 2019 is 10 out of 10. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and if you've made it this far, please consider subscribing.